hello to all in this video i'm going to share some vba coding how to change the font size make the font character or the string bold italic and underline then how to select an automatic font name like time roman calbrick another so this is what i'm going to share today so let's move ahead and see how it is done today's first topic is to set the font size so i have already inserted a module and named it as modify data and we have a data here and we are going to change the font size of the header so let's start the coding so the first method will be just let me write a comment so it will be easier for you to understand so method one will be our range a1 till d1 dot font dot size and now you can refer any number value integer which you want to change the number the font size to i want to change the font size to 12 currently it's set up to 10 so this is our first method now let's run this code and check so as you have noticed the font size has increased from 10 to 12 so now let's see the second method that is in this method they will first we will select the header and then we will change the font that is range d1 dot select and then selection dot font dot size equals to 10 so now let's run this code again so the font is already 12 so there will be no, no change in the method 1 as I have written above and now this will be selecting the entire header and now it will change the size to 10 so as you can see the, the size has changed from 10 to for, sorry from 12 to 10 so this is how you can change the font size of the characters or string so if so there's another way if we only want to we don't know, know the range of the header so we can also change that using the end function that is a range a1 comma range a1 dot end excel to write and double versus close dot select then selection dot font dot size equals to make it now 12 let's check this and let's comment this as well so let's click somewhere else so that it will be easier now, let, now let's run these codes as you can see it has selected my header and has changed it to 12 so these are the very simple codes the how to change the font so our second topic today is how to make a string or a character bold so we, we will be making the header bold so let's go and see the coding let's see. it has, it also has the same the similar with has two methods as i had told in the first part let's put a comment here and let's start coding so first you need to have the range that which particular area or range you want to have a bold that's d1 
dot font dot bold equals to true so this is his, this is sufficient to make the header bold so now let's run this step by step and as you can see the header has changed to bold so now the second method let's again see the second method and second method is very simple okay oh sorry i just press the step up button which is incorrect we reset this and put the comment here okay now this should be fine and now let's select the range a1 till d1 dot select then selection dot font dot bold equals to true I think I have not written the selection spelling correct. S E L extra I. Let's remove this. And now it should be fine. Just and good for knowledge that if everything is correct in your coding, then the first alphabet of the sen of the word will automatically change to capital if you write in the small letters. So this is a good thing about Vivi that it told, tells you that the coding is correct. Now, now let's run this and let's comment this out and make the header unbold so that let's run the code step by step and as you can see it has make the header bold and now okay just yes, you must put it to now how to unbold this so now let's go and check here let's write the codes here as well so range a1 to d1 dot font dot bold equals to false i think they should make the font unbold or remove the bold as you can see it has removed the bold sign here and if we run more two eyes then it should make this bold so this is how the bold function works in vva So now we are going to see how to make a character or a string italic. So there is not much difference between making bold and italic. We just need to replace, sorry, we just need to replace the font with. Let me just first comment this, comment out this line. Okay, we got an error, no problem and comment this and just we need to write here italic as you can see intelligence has given us italic option so there is no difference between the codes and if so now if we run this code as you can see the header has changed to italic and then so this is how you can make the font italic and same goes here as well the second code you can just need to change i think the submit is italic this is how it is done if you want to and if you want to unbold italic then this is the code you can unbold the character or a string now let's run all these codes once again to see that it's working yes oh i haven't changed the unbold okay now let's make it italic so this will unbold it will 
change the italic to non-italic and let's run this so the italics of this line of code will not work the next one will change it to non-italic it has changed to non-italic and now check this code it has again changed to italic this is how you can change the font to italic and non-italic now we, we are going to see how to underline any particular range or a, or a string or character so there is not much difference between the bold italic or underline so you just need to replace the italic wherever we had written italic to underline so you you can see intelligence is given with the option so you can just select and copy here and paste it and similarly paste here so this is how you can underline any any string or a character so now just let's run this codes to check that it's working so it has underlined my header which i wanted to do and it has removed the underline and now it should select again and it's underlined so this is how underlining any character or a string or a range can be done so this is pretty similar to bold and italic the last topic in this video this is the last topic so this we are going to see how to change the name of the font means if we want to write the header in new time roman or calibric or arial so this is pretty simple as we had done in underline and in italic so we just need to remove this underline and name it uh, give uh, it a name font dot name then remove equals and sorry equal will there and just type there whichever font you want area okay and now if i want any other font here so then we can type name equals to new time roman this is this will sufficient this is sufficient to change the font of the selected region now let's run this code and check and uh, it must change to arial now it should change it to new time roman okay so this is how you can do let's change it again to arial area okay and on let's run this code again it's already area new time it is given okay i haven't changed the underline to name so this is the probably error so let's remove this and change it to name and i think this will work now and let's run this and let's change the font to something else so that we can see the change what change is being captured now change to okay we have changed the font to uh, it's hard to pronounce let's go and check to see and we'll run the code let's change to arial and arial again so this is how how you can change the font in VVA through VVA so that's all in this video do like share your comment subscribe and promote if you have any query then you can put them in the comment section I'll be more than happy to answer them thank you have a good time